On today's episode, we're finally putting a 4.30 to 1 tracker diff gears and chromalis in to the Samurai front diff. Sponsored by TRE 4x4BC. All right, guys, welcome back to Fabin Adventures. We are putting chromalis and the 430 gears. Uh, if you'd seen a few months back, we got these gears put in. I'll put a link up here to that video if you guys wanna go and watch it and you make sure you come back and finish watching this, uh, this rebuild of the diff. And basically that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna be pulling the old 373s out of there and the stock axles Taking, I mean, you got to take everything apart, so you may as well rebuild the diff with new bearings, new seals, and whatnot. So, I'm not going to go big into detail. Low Range has a really good detailed video about all of that stuff. I mean, I might touch on a few things that you should know or you should look out for, but other than that, we're just going to do a simple rip apart of the diff, put this 430 gear set with a Spartan locker in the front, put the chromalis in. New seals, new bearings, new whatnot, stab her back together, and hopefully be able to get out on a wheeling trip to a awesome little place here tomorrow with a few other guys. So let's have at her. All right, you'll see here, I've got my whole rebuild kit. And I always get all my parts from Roadless Gear. He's always treated me good. And parts always show up, always the right parts show up. So I'll put a link to this front end rebuild kit that I got from them in the description below. And uh, you guys can go ahead and check it out and pick up some of this stuff if you feel that you need it. And uh, I don't know when the last time my front diff has been rebuilt or if ever. I mean, it's a 1986 Samurai. And if I were to guess, I would say it probably has never been rebuilt. So, there's all the parts, a master rebuild kit. To rebuild the entire front diff. So let's get after it. So quite obviously you need to get the tires out. You need to pull your hub and your brakes off and your rotors off and then pull the knuckle off and then take the third member out before you can pull the axles. So. I'm not gonna go into detail. You guys can just watch a few points of here and there of how to do it. Okay, here's a little trick I think everybody knows, but I'm gonna show it anyhow because there's maybe some people that don't know it, but to break your third member, but to break your third member loose, instead of using pry bars, just take a jack. Put it on the pinion. Just lightly jack, and it should start separating. Yep, this one was easy. Some can be a real pain to break free. This one happened to be real easy. And there you go. Third member's out. Ready to put the new third member in with the 430 gears and the Spartan locker.
I want to put some grease on the inner axle seal for sure before we stuff a axle in there just to help lube it and it'll give it some lube for startup and then we want to put a bunch of this grease in here and I like to put some on the splines and on the shaft just so we don't have any chance of rubbing that seal raw and then we'll pack a bunch on the back of this CV now we'll ease her past the seal We finally got her to this point. We're gonna put this felt seal on without tearing it. <laughs> there we go. Felt seal goes on, rubber goes on. There we go. <laughs> I'll just drop the upper kingpin bearing in. And the lower kingpin bearing in. You want to keep track of the bearings to the race because they're specific. The bearing itself is specific to the race. You don't want to mix and match. You know, put the lower bearing in the upper race and the upper bearing in the lower race. You want to, you know, keep track of everything where it goes. So now, this nice thick grease, it actually holds the bearing in. It's not even trying to drop out. We can drop, we can put the knuckle on here. So we're just gonna shoot a little silicone around the edge of the kingpin. A little grease on the old kingpins. So them kingpins have uh, shims on them. I think they said they come in four thousandths and twenty thousandths thick shims. These ones are probably the fours on there, probably still from stock from new. And that amount of shim is what dictates how much pressure it takes to turn your steering knuckle. And I'll show you that later. Once we get these on and we'll torque them down, we'll check the how much poundage it takes to turn the knuckle. So then you can just use your plain, plain old fish scale, hook it in here. You want to have about four pounds for off-road use before the knuckle starts turning. Or like four and a half pounds, a little less than four and a half pounds. I'm gonna call that good. Now here's the tricky part. You can get your rubber seal up in there. Get these, for lack of a better word, uh, seal hold down plates. Now low range has a, a technique where they use water pump studs to hold these plates in place, but I don't have water pump studs, so we're going to fight with it. She's 
she's tricky, but with a little bit of persistence, you can get them. That's the hook. And we'll just give them a little bit of a snug with this, and then we'll torque them down. So there's a little gap in between the silver plates here. You can hardly see it, but there's a little gap there. So we're just gonna squirt some right stuff in that hole. Pressurized can is the ticket. And we'll just throw ourselves some more of this right spot on here. Right stuff. Grease inside the old spindle. stick our index washer on there and then we put this nut on now we stick this little index washer on that should have your wheel bearing set and we'll just start putting her hub on new gaskets that's the money right there We got the caliper on and we're just tightening down the high steer arm, which uh, just basically goes right through to your caliper. And this side here, you need a real thin socket to go onto this uh, Trail Tufts high steer kit here. You need a real thin three quarter inch socket to get inside this hole. And here we'll just Finish her up here with the steering arm. So there we go. We got lockers, 430 gears, chromoly axles on this bad boy. I'm gonna take her out wheeling tomorrow and it's gonna be awesome. A Little bit bigger of a job than I thought it was gonna be, but not too bad. So if you guys are liking this sort of content, go ahead, subscribe, share, like, hit the bell to be notified. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at Fabin underscore adventures. Catch you guys next Friday.